Hello, my name is Greg Merrill. I'm a District Chief of the Oklahoma City Fire Department and Task Force Leader for OKTF1. I invite you to attend my course, Swiftwater Rescue, Rules of Engagement at FDIC 2021. Swiftwater Rescue is one of the most common technical rescues that a first responder will encounter in their career. Oftentimes, rescue seems simple and low risk, but all emergency incidents require situational awareness and readiness. Because of the perceived lack of risk at common swift water emergencies, first responders can lose focus and become victims themselves. In order to avoid the complacency and dangerous traps in a swift water emergency, first responders need to follow the rules of engagement for a safe and successful rescue. This course will outline those rules of engagement. First, we we'll ensure we have no surprises. Try to eliminate or mitigate all surprises. Second, proper scene assessment. Third is going to be proper PPE and proper training. Fourth is going to be good scene control. Fifth is planning. We need to ensure we have a plan in place, alternate plans, contingency plans, as well as emergency plans. Six, know your victim. Understand how to read your victim and understand the rescue techniques that we need to utilize based on the victim's position and also their ability to help. And then seventh, we have certain things that we need to avoid that are paramount that are instant trouble for any of us in the swift water world. And so we're going to talk about some of these things that we need to avoid. Swift water rescues are often dangerous, not only from the obvious hazards associated, but also due to the perceived lack of danger. The seven rules of engagement of swift water rescue will ensure the safety of first responders at swift water rescue incidents. To ensure there are no surprises, we need to train and we need to be prepared. We need to conduct a proper scene assessment. In route and on scene size up is important to establishing an effective command presence. Proper PPE is vital based on incident needs, level of training, and rescue techniques selected. Scene control is important to maintain accountability and safe zones of operation. Always provide for upstream and downstream rescue personnel in all rescues. Planning is necessary to provide for a safe and effective rescue. Mitigate the hazards you can control and identify all hazards to all rescuers, those that cannot be controlled. Rescuers need to ensure all personnel know the plan and contingency plan. The victim is the reason we are there, but we are, must ensure our own safety in order to effect a successful rescue. Read your victim and establish the mental status and physical capabilities of your victim to assist in their rescue. Water rescues are a common occurrence and should not be feared, but you need to respect, understand, and evaluate the hazards associated with each water rescue. Again, please attend my course, FDIC 2021. My name is Greg Merrill, and my course is Swift Water Rescue, Rules of Engagement. Thank you.